Hi Scorpio, welcome to your May general reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you are new or returning, welcome or thank you. So Scorpio, this is a general collective reading. So we may either get love, career, finance, whatever comes out here. We're just going to take the messages as they come. Please keep that in mind. So this is a general collective reading, not a private reading. If you would like a private reading, all that information is below. Please only take it how it resonates for you. Um, if it's not fitting for you, it's probably not your reading, so please don't try to make it fit. This is intended for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, male or female. It could be past, present, or future, so please keep that in mind, and uh, don't try to make it fit if it's not fitting for you. And you can check the description box below, tons of information down there. And if you're new, you can check out my channel, like what you see, feel free to subscribe, all that great stuff. Like, share, comment, everyone, be grateful for that. And uh, if you do subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss out. You get about four or five readings a month. And if you do, thank you so much. Okay, let's see what we have for Scorpio. This is a Zodiac Oracle, so we can get a sign, element, or planet. We'll see how that plays into your reading. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally fine. That doesn't mean the rest of the reading is not for you. If you click down it for the title, something may, hear, may resonate here for you. And how this is going to work, I'll pull a Zodiac card and then I'll pull one of these to get an opening message for you and then another for um, your energy. Clarify that energy with the tarot. Whatever the situation is, we'll look at it. Advice, guidance, possible outcome. I go over all the bottoms of the decks also and extra messages with this deck at the end. So let's see what we have for Scorpio. General Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female. We have Sagittarius here, so you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but you don't have to be. Um, it could be someone rising Venus, Jupiter in their placements in their chart, or maybe you have it in your chart. Sagittarius does represent temperance in the um, major arcana, which is about healing, balance, patience. Um, what else? <laughs> healing, balance, patience, um, you know, happy, peaceful, joyous energy divinely guided energy so we'll see how that plays into your reading and Scorpio you are eight and Sagittarius is nine so we see some sort of progression here so we'll see how that plays into your reading okay so this deck here let's get an opening message for you and then we'll get an energy for you and then we'll go over the bottom of the deck tie that all together and then we'll get the tarot out and start clarifying and looking into your situation, whatever it may be for you, Scorpio. Okay, let's get an, get an opening message for Scorpio, Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Someone rising Venus, Jupiter, male or female for the general collective. There's your message. Well, we got whale, which is water energy. And we have 13 here, which is four, which is about stability. So let me just read, it's, I do believe it's about diving deep. Um, let's see what the whale has to say. Number 13. Do, do, do. Diving deep, surviving danger and powerful forces. Hmm. So diving deep, ex escaping danger and powerful forces. So we'll see how that, that's your opening message. Hmm. Is there something you're diving deep in? Is there something uh, powerful force around you? Did you escape danger? Oh, did you escape a Sagittarius? I don't know. Let's see what your opening energy is. We have Dragonfly. That's a good energy. So now we have here uh, 27. 27 is 9. 9 is about uh, becoming, uh, coming to an ending or conclusion or full circle. And we have air energy here. So I have water and air. So that's number 27. So let's see what Dragonfly has to say. Unexpected guidance, surprising grace, transcendence. So you may have escaped something here, um, dived deep into a situation, but somehow escaped it. Um, but now you're transcending and transforming your energy. So... We'll see how that plays into your reading. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So now we have here Crocodile. It's the first time I got in all the readings that you're my, well, I got one more after you, but I haven't gotten this card out yet. So now we have here 19, yep, 19 Crocodile. 
Water energy again, 19 is 10. So that is an ending or a completion. So there's been some sort of ending or completion here because now we have nine, 10. Whale is 13, which is four. Something about your stability being more stable now. You could have dived deep into your own self and uh, healed something here. Something coming full circle or completing and transforming, transcending. Guiding, getting guidance, receiving guidance, giving guidance. So let's see what the crocodile has to say. Number 19, which is power, tenacity, and protection. So I feel like now you're in an energy of being more protective of yourself, having more power over yourself your spirit, your environment, uh, your energy, being more tenacious. Wow, so I really transformed yourself. You could have been somebody who kind of, you know, didn't let, I'm not saying let people walk all over you, but kind of just, you know, go with the flow. Water is very flowing. You are a water sign. But now I feel like you're more in this air energy, standing up for yourself, telling it like it is, not backing down having truth and clarity, open, honest, truthful communication, like not letting people walk all over you anymore and uh, protecting yourself, being more in that energy of protecting yourself. All right, so let's see what's going on for you, Scorpio. I don't know how Sagittarius plays a part, but like I said, it's temperance. So it's about being patient, um, tempering your energy, balance, uh, peace, harmony, so we'll see how that plays in. Divinely guided energy also. All right, so let's see here what's going on for you, Scorpio. My cards will shuffle here. All right, let's see what's going on. All right, so we got the Knight of Wands. So I feel like you're moving forward now, very fiery, passionate now with that Sag, you know, this fire could be just the energy of fire. You know, you could have Sag. Um, if you are like a moon Scorpio watching this, you could have your sun in Sag. Or maybe Sag is just another sign in your chart. But I feel like if that's your energy, you're moving forward now. I think uh, a lot of fire, passion, ambition. And like this new energy. All right, so what else for Scorpio? Yeah, the hangman. So we have Pisces here. Doesn't have to be. So, you know, <laughs> again, this is gaining new perspectives, becoming enlightened, uh, seeing things from every angle, taking a pause, a break, hanging back, taking your energy back when you need to. Um, could have been hung up on something, but I feel like you've set yourself free from whatever that was. You could have been stuck in a situation because we did have that whale there, which is about maybe escaping something, diving deep um, kind of energy. So, you know, maybe you were hung up in a situation, but let's see what else. The Empress. So again, knowing your value, your worth, knowing that you are this Empress, not letting anybody use you as a doormat or walk all over you or use you. No more. I'm standing in my Empress power now. It's a birth like of a new you. It's like a whole new you. So the Empress here is Libra or Taurus doesn't have to be so let's see here what else for you so we have the ten of cups in reverse so you whatever energy you were in before you were not happy in that energy could have been a home environment or just an energy overall energy of not happy with your life or what was going on in your life or how you were being treated kind of energy, you know, not happy. Because we do have the five of swords energy here. So, you know, that could be about people coming into your life, using you, taking advantage of you, hurting you, making you cry, and then they just leave <laughs> kind of energy. It's like, you know, getting what they want and then leaving, kind of using you, walking all over you, coming in and out of your life just for their own good. Not happy, feel like not happy with, you know, how you let others treat you come in and out of your life, whether it's friends, family, a lover, co-workers, or whatever here. By the way, I hope everyone's staying healthy and safe during this time.
if you're still working, thank you. I am also, besides doing this, an essential worker, so I am out there on the workforce working every day. All right, let's see what we have here. So we have the Knight of Pentacles energy here. So that's about, you know, moving forward very slowly, but being more stable, grounded, secure, cautious, practical, smart, wise. There's that wise guidance here. So, you know, you may have received wise guidance also from someone who is an empress. Could be a mother, an aunt, a uh, father. I know somebody who is like a wise counsel in your life, uh, very smart, wise, male or female, making you realize, you know, how maybe unhappy you actually were in your life, how, you know, maybe just letting people come in and out, in and out, and uh, getting what they want and leaving. And now, you know, Knight of Pentacles, now, you know, I'm being more cautious, I'm being more smart, practical, you know, grounded, and moving forward very cautiously now. All right, so let's see here, let's see here. I feel like you're finally protecting yourself, your energy, standing up for yourself, cutting, you know, ties no longer serving you perhaps. All right, so let's see here. Let's get a situation for you. What's going on for you, Scorpio? This one, this one. So we have the sun. Wow, Leo energy doesn't have to be. So now feeling happy, content, enlightenment, a healing energy, happy home and family, victory. It's the most positive card. High Priestess. So this is uh, Pisces. So listening to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing. Um can be secretive though so maybe you're kind of keeping some things to yourself maybe you're just not associating with people anymore that make you unhappy two of pentacles so getting your balance back or just juggling you know emotional energy here so juggling your emotions your energy um who do i choose to give my time to who do i choose not to give my time to who makes me happy who doesn't make me happy no longer you know maybe talking to people that make you in this juggled energy, make you feel confused, mixed up. All right, so what else here for Scorpio? The Fool energy, which would be Aquarius, and the Page of Cups, which could be about, you know, loving communication, apologies. I feel like you're not going to be played for a fool anymore. You're no longer going to be blind to the energies around you how people come in and out or use you or take advantage of you or whatever here. And you may be apologizing to people saying sorry, but you know, no longer accepting that energy into your life. Kind of energy also. It's kind of what I'm getting. It's like you're looking at yourself like, how did I let myself be in this messed up, jungle, juggled up energy for so long? And then people use me as a fool. So I feel like, yeah, I feel like you're, you're cutting ties here. Now you're only concentrated on you with the Empress there, on your happiness, your joy, your success, your power, your enlightenment, protecting yourself, transforming, transcending, no longer being hung up in ties here that no longer, no longer serve you. So let's see. I feel like you probably had to dive deep um, into this, figure out, you know, might have been some hard lessons learned. Well, let's see what your advice and guidance is. Uh, strength here, Leo, again. So this is, someone could have, some of you could have heavy Leo in your chart or it could be a supportive Leo around you. But this is having confidence, strength, dignity, uh, being courageous and brave, taming that beast within, having willpower, endurance, having the strength to do what you need to do, to not invest your time in people that are not serving you having the strength to do that hold back your energy this is your advice and guidance the magician so it's gemini virgo energy this is about manifesting a brand new beginning but it can also be about manipulators um kind of energy i feel like you're putting your hand up and saying no more to these people that come in and out and just want something for their own good and use me or mistreat you or whatever here 
All right, so what else? Eight of Pentacles, working on you, investing in you, working, um, only doing what's best for you, investing in your time where you feel is only where you truly need to invest it. Two of Wands, so kind of feeling at a crossroads sometimes. Um, two of Wands, so it could be at a crossroads or actually choosing a path and going down that path and then making plans and decisions for your future. See, this person there does have a hand, uh, a wand in hand, so they actually know exactly what path they're going down. They might have been at a crossroads at one time. It's like you've chosen the path of not being the fool anymore and maybe apologizing to people and say, look, I'm sorry, but no more, no more of this. Only work, choosing yourself, working on yourself and only giving to those you feel deserve your time and energy. I feel like you're putting your hand up or that's your advice to put your hand up to people and say no more. All right, so... Let's see what your outcome could be. This could be, you know, one person, could be a person, place, thing, situation, coworker, um, kind of energy. So what do we have here for outcome? So we have the Ace of Swords. So this is having total truth and clarity, standing up for yourself, not backing down, cutting those ties that are no longer serving you, telling it like it is, open, honest, truthful communication, victorious new beginning for yourself, the Hermit, Virgo energy. So I feel like you did deep, diving here with the hermit energy and the whale and seeing the light and now transforming and knowing exactly what you need to do that deep soul searching work so we have the four of cups energy so this is you know feeling kind of bored melancholy blah so no more of that energy you're cutting out that energy of feeling misused um kind of energy bored and complacent and just not happy People that come in, you know, and get what they want and leave. Cutting out that energy. No more. No more. My Divine Clarity card with the Ace of Swords. Divine Clarity. Divine Intervention. Total Enlightenment. Epiphany. Aha Moment. It's like you've seen the light with the Hermit energy. You've, you, like I said, dive deep with the Whale. And now no more sitting in this Four of Cups of, you know, people coming in, hurting you, making you cry, or whatever. No more of that. No more. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So now we have the Wheel of Fortune. So there's a Sagittarius energy. So, and I forgot that the Sag does represent the wheel. So this is about things getting better, things going in your favor. Divinely guided energy. So by doing this, we have 10 there about endings. So ending this, these energies no longer serving you, you have better luck, fortune, coming your way nine of swords so feeling a little stressed out nervous you know about this whole situation but we have the king of wands here again that could be the sagittarius energy there but again feeling fiery passionate go-getter energy a lot of drive ambition standing up in that fiery energy and we have the seven of wands so this is you defending yourself putting up a guard putting up a wall and blocking energy is no longer serving you Justice, so getting justice, receiving justice, feeling justified in your actions. Libra energy here. Balancing out the scales, having truth and clarity. Five of cups. No more sadness, hurt, and loss. No more of that energy. A feeling like beat up and used and battered. No more. The devil, so releasing in reverse here. So we're releasing toxic energy. And I felt that Capricorn. Releasing toxic energies are no longer serving you giving people their walking papers and say bye-bye, no more, eight of cups, seven of pentacles, only investing in what you feel you need to invest in that's best for you, for your personal growth and abundance for the future. That's what I feel with that. Wow, so releasing toxic energy here, cutting ties no longer serving, ties that bind, people that use, abuse, and walk away, feeling very fiery, passionate go-getter now, standing in your air energy, if you have air in your chart, that doesn't matter, but you're standing in that transformed in that air energy of truth, clarity, cutting ties, no longer serving, standing up for yourself, not backing down, telling it like it is. And that 
will lead to the wheel of fortune, fate, destiny, divine timing, better things coming for you in the future. Wow, okay. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Let's get some closing messages for you. Closing messages for you, Scorpio. I feel like cutting those ties that bind you. So we have listen to music. So that could be a message for some. 1910 endings and then one new beginning. So if music, that means anything to anyone, music plays a big part in your life. Saying here, listen to music will help heal you, guide you, um, make you feel better. Thank God. And we have 55, five, double five, major, major changes and challenges. Five, five, ten, major endings, one new beginning. So thank God for all the blessings coming in. Um, they're rece receiving your prayers, answers, affirmations here. Ships coming in, better things coming for you. What else? What else for? All right, I'm just going to take this one. Keep dancing. So we got music and keep dancing. <laughs> and we have 31, which is four, which is about stability. So this is telling you to keep going on with life, to stay in a high vibration, stay in your energy, keep dancing to your own tune in the energy that you're in now. And we have get over yourself, one. One's about a new beginning. So this is about getting over yourself, whatever energy you were in before. You know, if you were in this energy of letting people take advantage of you or whatever here, you're getting finally getting over energy is no longer serving you now and having a new beginning in your life. Looking in the mirror, doing that reflection, that deep diving and soul searching, a reflection and realizing exactly how you needed to transform, change, whether it was through wise counsel, guidance or whatever here. But now you're standing in air energy and fire energy. Wow. All right, Scorpio, <laughs> sending you many light, love, and blessings. Best of luck to you, and always keep, keep on shining your light.